the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord there. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you? While he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. from E.E. E. Cummings. I thank you, God, for most this amazing day, for the leaping greenly spirits of trees and a blue, drew, true blue dream of sky, and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. I, who have died, am alive again today. And this is the sun's birthday. This is the birthday of life and of love and wings and of the gay, great happening, illimitably earth. How should tasting touching, hearing, seeing, breathing, any, lifted from the no of all nothing, human merely being, doubt, unimaginable you. Now the ears of my ears awake, and now the eyes of my eyes are opened.
Christ is risen, alleluia. alleluia. Let us join our voices together. Holy One, we gather as a community of faith to celebrate that darkness can find its light, to trust that peace will always be stronger than violence, to remember that love will always be more powerful than death. We gather as Easter people to welcome the risen Christ Alleluia. As we bless creation and welcome the sun's light, let's sing together. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away, wondering to himself what 
had happened. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And each one of you, each one of us, is a word of God on this Easter morning. The word of God speaks to us and speaks through us and calls us to wish each other the peace of Christ. Shall we stand and wish each other the peace of Christ? And when you hear the music, it's time to come back to community. <laughs> So much for your meeting. As we return to our seats, as we return to our seats, can we lift up again those words from E.E. E. Cummings? Now the ears of my ears awake, and now the eyes of my eyes are opened. In the ears of my ears, in the eyes of my eyes, in the heart of my heart 
I know love never dies in the green of the trees, in the blue of the skies. As the world comes alive, I know love never dies. Love never dies, love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies. Sing along, love never dies, love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies. As we honor resurrection and rebirth in this season of Minnesota resurrection and rebirth, I invite you to think, feel, dream about what you want reborn in your lives today, 2019. In the stories we share, in the tears that we cry, as our memories grow, I know love never dies. Time may pull us apart over years and miles. Still you live in my heart, I know love never dies. Let us sing. Love never dies, love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies, love never dies, love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies. You may not believe. Still, I know it's true. In the ears of my ears, in the eyes of my eyes, in the heart of my heart, I know love never dies. Love never dies. Love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies again. Love never dies. Love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies in the heart of my heart. I know love never dies in the heart of my heart. Thank you, Leslie. It must have been hard for them to imagine that that's true, that love never dies. When they had seen him die. I think about the resurrection and where we are in our postmodern sensibilities and all of our enlightenment with our ability to actually reach into the molecular structures of life. And I wonder, what is it that draws us back time and time again to this story? And I think that it's the desire to believe that love never dies. All around the world, 
there are people just like us who have come together in various places who are sitting in amazing cathedrals, one of which we now miss dearly. They're sitting some in really shabby looking places. Some of them are sitting in places without a roof or without walls, and yet they're drawn together in community to celebrate and to reaffirm that love never dies. And it really doesn't matter, I am becoming more and more convinced, it really doesn't matter whether you actually believe that they found a body. It matters that you believe that they believe. Because whatever they found in whatever form and whatever fashion it presented themselves itself to them, it changed their life forever. Ever. Even Peter, the most certain of certain, was transformed. Even Peter had to walk away shaking his head, wondering just what was he looking at. And you and I now, today, look at each other. We look at scripture, we look at our world, and sometimes we wonder, just what are we looking at? Are we looking at the death of love as we experience the death of civility? Are we looking at the death of love as we experience polarization, not just racial, but denominational, sociological, anthropological? Are we looking at the death of love? No. Say it with me. No. Say it with conviction like you mean it. No, because we are Easter people. We are the people of the resurrection. And as long as we affirm that the resurrection has come to us in our lives, in your life, in my life, if you think about where you were, A year ago, six months ago, ten years ago, at the lowest point of your life, at the time when you thought, I can't continue on, one more step, and then someone, somewhere, somehow, something came to you to say, yes, you can, because you are loved beyond this point of breaking then my friends, you know that the truth is love never dies. And when we leave here today, that's the message that we carry into the world. That's the only message that matters. That's the message that crosses denominations. It crosses barriers. It breaks down all of the walls that we can erect to pretend as if it doesn't matter. Love never dies. We may never see what Mary saw. The narrative invites us to a feast that at some point will be a gathering so large that no human can count that gathering and in a place and in a way that no person will be able to identify. We will be together doing something that God identifies as a feast of love with all of the community gathered together in love. 
And I don't know about you, I don't know what that looks like, but I really want to be at that feast. And it doesn't matter to me if I don't see Jesus in the same way that those very first witnesses saw Jesus because truthfully, when I see the people of God gather together in community, loving one another, we've seen Jesus. In a few moments, we're coming to this table, this table where everyone is welcome, this table that is open to all, this table that says, if you are here, it's your table. And we're coming because we want to be prepared to carry the message that's deep in our hearts, and we want to be able to carry it not only with courage and strength and civility, but we want to be able to carry it with the conviction that love never dies. Say it with me. Love never dies. Christ is risen indeed. Amen. As we invite you to prayer, normally if you were here and it was a regular service, we would have an opportunity to pass the mic and you might get to speak your prayers aloud. This morning, just for the sake of time, we're going to do something a little different. Kent and I are going to lead you in some corporate prayer and then we're going to offer you a space for silent prayer. And then there are some responses. And your cue for the response is when one of us says, and we lift our alleluia. And that's your cue to say alleluia for whatever that response is. Normally we turn the lights down during prayer because we want it to soften and we want to call you down. But today we are celebrating the sun and so the lights are fully fully up because we are living in Christ's light and we invite the light to come among us. We thank you that Easter is not just about a people, but all people. That your love and your miracle of resurrected life are now available for all to share with voices, hearts, and lives lifted up. That the tomb is empty because Jesus is risen and we can receive and offer forgiveness. That our lives can be reborn that your community can be drawn together in unity as a witness to the world of the truth of your love, now and for all eternity. Hear the prayers of our hearts.
and so we raise our Alleluia. Alleluia for the miracle of life that calls us together to learn and grow and love. Holy One, the morning light illuminates the glories of your creation, the greenness of spring grass, the song of birds returning from the south, the earth waking up again after a long, hard winter. Awaken us to these and to, to your presence radiating through creation. In gratitude for all of the gifts of our blue planet home, we offer these silent prayers to you. And so we raise our Alleluia. Alleluia for, for the, the hope that rises, that reveals your presence, presence fascinates our minds, mind, and, and engages our hearts. Our Holy One, call us out and draw us forward, away from the narrow limitations of our certainty into the immense world of your love. Give us the capacity, even for a moment, to taste the richness of the feast you offer to us. Give us the peace and the courage to live with hope, even when we are feeling most uncertain, when we have questions or doubts. Never let us forget that the resurrection is not just of our bodies, but of our very selves. Increase our ability to see around the corners of care into the expansiveness of community where we imagine the wonder of grace and see you as you Easter in all of us. Hear now our silent prayer. And so we raise our Alleluia. Alleluia for the hope that rises when we are hopeless, for the new life that emerges from death. Alleluia. Amen. Friends, on this Easter Sunday, it is a privilege to invite you to come to this table. This is not the table of Hennepin. This is not my table. This is God's table. And all God's people are welcome at God's table. If you are here, this is your table, for God welcomes you. The night is over. The morning is here. Christ is risen just as he said. 
darkness is conquered and our light has come, life is victorious. Here's the feast to which we are called. All are welcome. Come. With joyful hearts, come to the table of life. Let us pray. God of love and life, whose breath is in us and whose mercy encircles all creation, all that is seen and unseen witnesses to your will, to life and love. And so today we proclaim this resurrection and join the praise song that echoes across every time and every place. God of grace and life and glory, joy, elation, praise we bring. All creation sings your story till the earth and heavens ring. On this Easter day, we celebrate the embodied love of your servant Jesus who welcomed all, healed all, died for all, and lives for all. The resurrected life Jesus shares with us is promised to be a life of justice and mercy, a place in God's community of peace. And so let us give thanks for Jesus the Christ who inspires us to put our hope and trust in God's love, who opens our minds and hearts to intimate, never-ending connection with the spirit of love. Let us give thanks for the Easter spirit of new life given to us and anticipate the time when we will share our song with all of those that God calls family. God of grace and life and glory, joy, elation, praise we bring. All creation sings your story till the earth and heavens ring. At this, our Easter gathering, we take bread as Jesus took bread. And we remember as Jesus remembered the constant presence of the spirit of life and love. We shared this bread as Jesus broke and shared it. We take this cup and we will drink as Jesus invited his friends to drink asking them to remember the relationship of love and trust which calls us to be one with each other as he is one with God. Believing as Jesus believed that beyond pain, beyond darkness and death, life in the spirit continues in ways beyond our imagining. Christ is the bread through which we have life. Christ is the vine by which we are connected to hope today and every day. As we pray together, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echoes through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the people of the earth. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us, for you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Friends, these are simple things. A bit of juice, small piece of bread. But for us, they are everything and they are all that we need to strengthen us. As you come today, you are invited to Bring your offering. Because it is Easter, 
all of our offering for Easter will go toward outreach ministries. And so as you give, know that you are giving into the good work of God, not only in this community, but around the world. For everywhere that this offering goes and everywhere that our outreach ministries touch, there is the grace of God. All is prepared, and you are welcome. There are two stations on either side in the back, and we'll ask you to receive, if you need gluten-free, gluten-free will be here at the center.
God's love and God's life is not just for us, it is for all. But there are those out there who have been forgotten and they don't remember and out of gratitude for what you've received, will you make it so outside these walls? Will you remember them? We will share hope so that no one is hopeless. Because we are loved. We will share love. We will live as Easter people until the whole world remembers and shares in the abundance of joy. Friends, life and work today is very brief, which is why I got you standing. You're invited to brunch, which starts in about two minutes and goes until 10.30. At nine o'clock, there is an, um, the first of our festival services with brass. If you want to sing the hallelujah chorus, today is your day. Amen. Happens at 9 and 11. Soul Cafe is in a week. So if you want to come back and hear more amazing music and have more of a fantastic experience, come back to Soul Cafe on the 28th. You will have a fantastic time. 
as we prepare to sing our way into the world. The tune is familiar, the words are exciting. Let's sing. An amazing thank you to our wonderful musicians for today on piano. <laughs> on piano, Stephen Hobart. <laughs> on string bass, Chris Bates. <laughs> on drums and percussion, Daryl Boudreaux. <laughs> On clarinet and saxophone, Doug Haining. And tying them all in a perfect bow, our own Steve Blondes. Thank you to our vocalists, Debbie Green, Bob Green, the extraordinary Leslie Ball. Thank you all. Friends, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Our men, our women, our children, our animals, our creation, ah.
Thank you.